Owen, we are sitting in your brand new studio, which yeah. you've completely built from scratch, and you were going to use to make your new record. So, could you just tell us about what has your journey been up until now, up until this point? Well, it's been very long. Uh, <laughs> you yeah, know, I've been kind of playing and writing songs since I was nine, so it's been kind of a very long journey to kind of to the like the fact that I have even my own studio is pretty crazy, but. Mm -hmm. At the same time, it's uh, really gratifying to be able to work for myself and being able to do my own thing. Yeah, and it's it's the type of industry where you kind of need to put yourself out there. You kind of need yeah, to absolutely. make your own music and just that's the, is that the reason you're 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 making a new um, album now with yeah. the stuff that you're have in the studio? Is that kind of why you wanted to do that to push forward and to kind of get yourself? Out yeah, there? like um, it's kind of more so a thing of like. I can be like fully autonomous. I don't have to like pay to go to a studio. I don't have to get. I can produce all my own stuff. I don't have to get a producer. I don't have to get an engineer. Anyone who I bring in on the project will be like you know asked by me to come in and do it. And it's just that I have full control over everything that I ha I want to do. And the way technology's gone, the way the music industry's gone, the fact that I can do it in my own house is pretty incredible. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a self-motivated sort of project in that sense, to try and be able to make and release my own music. Mm. And what are some of the kind of struggles up until now as a young musician trying to break into the industry? What What are some of the struggles you've, you've found along the way? Um, well, definitely like, you know, the amount of time that you have to put in for such a little reward, um, if, if there even is a reward, uh, you know, I was saying, like I always kind of say this, like if you compare it to like real work as such as people would say like you know at least you know if you go in you do 10 hours you're getting paid for those 10 hours whereas I could put in 10,000 hours and I might not get paid for a single one but that's okay because it's all working towards the end goal mm -hmm. and the end goal is just being able to do this completely 100% full time. Yeah and um, why what keeps you going when when people kind of put it down and say is that a real job is is being a singer songwriter a real career will you ever get there I, I'm sure you get that a lot that people kind of don't have that much support yeah. for it but what keeps you going well it's just the love of it really more so than anything else like you know what else am I gonna do that's that's my idea of course there's the other things I could do you know but I don't love those things as much as I love making music and getting up on stage and playing and making my own records like I am here mm -hmm. so you know to be able to do that kind of stuff I just can't see myself doing anything else. So that's kind of what keeps me going. Is this, this is it? This is what I want to do. Mm -hmm. So, and you know, we're living in such a digital age, mm -hmm. and it's an industry that's ever changing. But I know, speaking to artists who are studying fine art and studying other forms of art, have found that a lot, of, a lot of the time these days, you need to be. They've been, they've been told you need to be an artist second and a business person first. Mm -hmm. Would you agree with that? Would you feel like? the same goes um, in terms of music production? In one sense yes and in one sense no. Like you know you should never lose the love of it and the passion for it and the side of it like don't let the business side of things spoil that but by all means like if you can make money and make enough money to live doing this doing what you love to do then I, I think you know absolutely go ahead and do it like if it means that you know, you're hustling and you're selling your own t-shirts and you're selling your CDs at the end of the gig. Like, if that means that you're able to do it again and again and again and again, absolutely do it. Like, work the business side of it. Because if you do it the right way, it'll work in your favour. Mm -hmm. And what's the, what's the goal now? What are you working towards at the moment? Well, what I'm working towards at the minute is just trying to get some music out there and trying to build a platform for myself and trying to, you know, entice people to come and listen to my music and come to my shows and kind of make fans and just enjoy myself and then hopefully the idea is that if I manage to do it at a high enough level and really enjoy doing it and people enjoy listening then I'll be able to do it mm -hmm. full time as my career so yeah and in terms of branding I know that there is like you were saying before um, you kind of have to go through different stages of mm. What what who what will my stage name be? Who will I be? So I know you've just settled on just Owen now, yeah. And that's what it's gonna but, be. But uh, weird spelling though, weird spelling. Yeah. So it's O H I N. 
Yeah. Oh, hey, Jaya. Because I think sometimes you got to go back to basics and go yeah. back to your roots and just say... And I think I'd find it a bit weird if people weren't calling me my first name. Yeah. So, like, <laughs> it would be a bit weird. I'd yeah. find it weird. Yeah. Um, so, going forward, what would the dream job be? The Playing dream... your own music. You're yeah. doing singers. You're doing songwriting. Would you... Would you want to ideally be um, writing songs for other people or for yourself <laughs> as your own, as a performer yourself? Yeah, I think I'll always be writing for myself as a performer, and just in general, just always doing that. But I'd love to just be able to full time write for other people, and because you can kind of take yourself out of your own headspace and kind of just have a fully clean slate and just go mad. And um, I've done it a little bit before. But um, I'd love to do that full time because that's a really great experience, and it's great to work with other people. Like you know, it's not fun on your own, so mm -hmm. it's great to work with other people. And have you played any cool gigs recently? Is there anything you've um, really stood out to you? Nothing really recently. Um, I mean, I've played Wheelands a couple of times. I've you know played in a lot of venues in town, and um, I've played locally and stuff. But um, the the dream would be I'd love to play like a couple of festivals next year. That, that's the idea. I'd so love working to, towards that. Yeah, that's yeah. kind of my goal for next year. I'd love to play like Electric Picnic and maybe Fruit and Fruit, Longitude, mm -hmm. Sea Sessions, anything I can get my hands on. So Yeah, that's, that's the dream we're working towards. Yeah. Okay, well, thanks so much for sitting down with me. Thanks today. very much, Rachel.